met up with this girl on Tinder. Uh -huh. We went on three dates in four days. We kiss. It's cool. That's it. Then I brought it up to Graham. Graham investigates her Instagram, uh -huh. finds a photo with it a guy. Hidden, and I click this guy's profile and it had her name as his Instagram bio with a heart. Oh, okay. I FaceTimed her and I was like, hey, what's going on with this? She's like, oh, it's my ex. We broke up. He's inactive on social media. Okay. Graham DMs the guy. We call him and say, hey, just letting you know, I went on a date with this girl. What's the deal with you and her? And he's all, that... And he gets all angry. He's all, we've been dating for two years. I bought her a car. I gave her thousands of dollars. Yeah. We have been together in a loving relationship. Check right. this out. Sends me a photo of his wall. Just Polaroids of them all on the yes. wall. And he said, thank you so much. This restores my faith in humanity. I Boy, wish restores you... and both yeah. destroys. Because the moment. fact that someone will go out of their way to give this guy a right. heads up, it's the bro code. If yes. that's happening, you got to let the other guy know. I'll play devil's advocate. Because I see both sides. And this is why I was saying, if it was me and I was casually dating this woman, I don't want, there's no bro code. I'm like, don't tell me. I'm already assuming if you swim with the sharks, don't be surprised if you get bit. If a dude's dating a girl and her Instagram has a PayPal on it, he should have known thought, right. he was getting bit. I so knew, of the course. The bro code I, wasn't needed. What the dude needed was eyeballs and non-delusional. But non he got the eyeballs through us. <laughs> yeah, but he should have been non-delusional. That man is, he I'm was, not sure he you was can a young guy. that man. He was, he was a young guy. I think this was his first relationship. Yeah. He was obsessed with her. Yes. I think that's a learning experience. You yes. got to go through as a guy, get your heart broken like that, and you can move on. Yeah, but even better is learn to read people. Because you got to be careful of getting your heart broken too many times because sometimes it doesn't go back and you stay in that permanent cynicism place. Here's the thing. First off, humans pursue short-term mating relationships. Lots of women and lots of men do. Ethics is a complicated question because in every scenario, if you heard her side, sometimes there's another side. I'll give you an example. I knew a very similar situation. It wasn't to me, but it happened to my friend. When... The girl was confronted. She said, I'm dating a man that told me he'll kill me if I break up with her. He said, I will kill you. He was a jealous Latin guy. And so she's like, yes, I'm cheating on him because I don't love him. I've told him 20 times. He won't let me break up with him. And I need to find another man so I can move in another relationship because hopefully that dude might even protect me. So there are other sides. That's why I say the investigative journalist must to be the true ethical one must interview the girl. Now, if she's a pure liar, that's fine. But you wouldn't be surprised. There's an old proverb. Every man's story sounds good until you let the other person speak and cross-examine. You never know. I tried to break up with a girl once. She's known. If you Google Tyler, I won't say which one. If mm. Ty Lopez girl. Couldn't break up with her. Tylopez.com slash, <laughs> slash girlfriend. No, no, no. <laughs> if you just look Ty Lopez girlfriend, I do you not have, have that. You have a site, have a site for every year. I have a hierarchy. <laughs> Here's the descendants. No, but it just people put it up and like, I couldn't break up with her. She would come drive up and be at my house and be like, I don't want to break up. It's like, and so finally I cut her off. She ended actually going, she had a nervous breakdown, ended up in a home for six months. I felt bad. But there's a situation where she, I had told her, we're not together. And she's like, we are together. I'm like, I'm going to date other girls. And she was like, she would come a week later and be like, you're cheating on me. I'm like, I told you. You think we're together. <laughs> I, I finally blocked her from being able to come to the house. I told my butler guy, don't let her in. Because he would let her in because she was always living with me. So many sides. Human mating is the ultimate complex conversation. And so first off, there's something called adverse selection. Tinder is a SSG, a self-selected group of women who tend to be more short-term. In general, long-term mating women are taken for long periods of time. So when you meet a girl, you know, so you got to ask the right questions on that first date. I've luckily never really, I mean, I could have been cheated on. It's, it's impossible, to know, but I don't have many horror stories because I learned to read people. And it's like, you got, especially as a man becomes a prince, you're on your prince king, you better be extra careful. I got a question though, yeah. because obviously I read all the red flags. I was, yes, I, I knew what was going on. I knew it was sketchy, but you a didn't. lot of the, your, his, Jack's first words to me, she's like a good girl, like so honest, loyal. She's like, that's because you first. asked her conscious mind questions. Never ask a I, woman or a man conscious. Let's get, let's get questions. on the conscious versus unconscious yeah. minds. But I want to know. Yeah, because obviously hindsight 2020, but I definitely remember thinking that it was very sketchy and I was talking to my friends about it and I was yeah. hiding all the red flags from 
from some other people, et cetera. Why do people know what's best for them, but they don't end up doing that? I knew it was probably not good to continue talking to her. Yeah, but your unconscious mind, what's good? For example, was she beautiful? Yeah. S strong genes, your primitive mind, the whispers of 10,000 generations are telling you, in the whispers of 10,000 generations, people didn't live that long. They're saying mate with her, have a kid, she's beautiful. That means low mutation load, low parasite load, high IQ, high, probably in her family, IQ and beauty is also correlated. So your genes are speaking. It's not even the wrong voice speaking. You have a combination of the modern world. Hominids are like, let's say 1.2 million years old, precursors to Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens, they guess is maybe 300,000 years old. From 300,000 BC approximately to 25,000-ish BC, we were hunter-gatherers and tribes relative promiscuity, or, or I should say, serial monogamy. Um, one man often had a couple wives. Women did sleep around, had multiple lovers. They've studied this. Dr. Buss lived with the Ashe tribe in Brazil. They're still pre-civilization rainforest people, Hadzas, all these. Then 15, 25,000 years became farmers. The rise of real classic monogamy, real classic wealth, disparities, you still have like all three of those brains. Genes don't change that. You have the hominid brain. That's why men will ruin their life, have built their whole life, career, wealth, family. They're driving, a dude cuts them off. They sometimes get out of the car and murder that guy. The guy didn't even see you through the wind. The primitive 1.2 million year old hominid brain, you get out and kill. Why'd that guy do that? Because he just, he was in the 1.2 million. Year. Then we have this hunter-gatherer mind. That's why we don't like the nine-to-five job. Hunter-gatherers, even now to this day, they work about four hours a day. And they rest a lot and they joke a lot. And that's why the modern school system doesn't work. In the, the vast majority of homo sapien time, you learn from mentors. You want to learn to hunt in the jungle? The old grandpa or the dad would be like, today we're going hunting. Follow me, young son. You're 11. It's time you learn. And you weren't lectured in a classroom hall. So sometimes you were with this girl using that, you know, hunter gatherer mind. Sometimes we do use this mind, which is like that woman's my property. That's what happened with the rise of farming. So it's like, she should only sleep with me, da 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 da. And then you fast forward and we're in 2023, 2024, and it doesn't make sense our behavior, but it does to a scientist, it does. And so if your goal is to have a modern perception, then you have to override your primitive, which is hard. Ain't nothing more dangerous to a man than a pretty face.